Hello everyone, welcome back to GK Today. And today we'll be discussing most important MCQs from environment and biodiversity that are relevant from past 60 days. So these are the 14 categories in which we have divided all the important news and events. Until now we have covered these five categories and today this is our sixth lecture. Similarly, later on we'll cover all the rest categories as well. Okay. So if you are new to this channel, let me inform you that we have created a playlist on our channel named as category wise current affairs videos. So from here you can cover each and every category from past 2-3 months. Okay. So now without wasting any further time, let's get started. Question number 1. Pratapsara athaneta which was discovered recently as a dinosaur era species is a dash. So an international team of researchers has described the first crab from the Cretaceous dinosaur era preserved in amber. And the study used micro CT to examine and describe this species which are the oldest modern looking crab we have ever discovered. So the crab fossils extends back into the early Jurassic which is more than 200 million years ago and the fossil is complete and it is not missing a single hair on the body. Okay. Question number two, which country has recently given in principle support for net zero by 2050? So Australia has recently given in principle to a target of zero net carbon emissions by 2050. And this target has been announced by Prime Minister Scott Morrison when he leaves for a UN summit in Glasgow, Scotland. So now it has moved from its 2015 pledge at Paris Climate Summit to reduce the emissions by 26% to 28% below 2005 levels by the year 2030. Okay. Question number three. What is the IUCN status of the Shelley's eagle owls which were seen in the news recently? This is actually a rare species which is considered vulnerable by the IUCN red list. And IUCN estimates that there are between 1500 and 7000 adult individuals in the wild and they are the largest owls that live in Africa's rainforest. And there have been no confirmed photographs of species since scientists first catalogued its existence 150 years ago. And recently British scientists snapped a photo of the bird which can grow to be around 2 feet. Also it has black eyes and a yellow bill. Fine. Question number 4. Silver forget me not butterfly has been sighted recently in which state? So a rare butterfly species called silver forget me not butterfly has been spotted twice inside the Sri Villi Puthur Mega Malai Tiger Reserve that lies in Tamil Nadu. So with this new addition there are 318 recorded species in the list of butterflies in Tamil Nadu and this butterfly was recorded in Kerala in the year 2019 also in Andaman and Nicobar Islands between 2015 and 2017 and in Sikkim, West Bengal and in some northeastern states between 2005 and 2020. Question number 5. Trigonopteris corona which was seen in the news recently belongs to which species? So scientists have recently discovered 28 new species of beetle and one of them has been named as this to mark the large impact of COVID-19 pandemic on this project. So in the month of April, a new species of caddis fly was collected near a stream in Kosovo by a team of scientists and was named as Potamophylex coronavirus. And before that, some insects were named P. coronavirus, A. quarantinus, S. covida, etc. Okay. Question number six. Gulf of Mannar Marine Biosphere Reserve which was seen in the news recently is located in which state? So this includes a chain of islands and adjoining coral reef off the coast located in Tamil Nadu. So the annual migration of birds from the Arctic to the Gulf of Mannar Marine Biosphere Reserve has begun recently 
and a big flock of birds was incited in the Manoli Islands inside the park. Question number seven: Round chested spoonmoody, which is endemic to the Western Ghats, belongs to which species? So this is a frog species, and it is endemic to the Western Ghats. Also, it is called as bush frog. Why it was in news? Because recently it has been identified as cardamom friendly, and they kill the moths. that are known to destroy the cardamom plants in large scale and these moths destroying the zeudo stems of the plants have been a great problem to the farmers okay question number 8 california condors which was seen in the news recently is a dash so the us wildlife researchers have discovered that two california condors which is a critically endangered bird have given birth without any male genetic dna and this virgin birds are formally called as parthenogenesis or you can say asexual reproduction and these are recorded in other bird species also for example lizards snakes sharks rays and in some type of fish so around 500 california condors remain in the us southwest region and mexico Okay. Question number nine. What is the name of the website launched by Indian climate experts for accessing equity in climate action? So, independent researchers from India have conceptualized and developed an online dashboard named as Climate Equity Monitor on global climate policy, and this dashboard provides an online platform for accessing equity in climate action. inequalities in emissions and energy consumption across the world along with climate policies of several countries so it aims to monitor the performance of annexer one parties under the unfccc okay question number 10 which indian state is set to commence the census of indus river dolphins so punjab is set to commence the census of indus river dolphin and it is a fresh water dolphin that is found in river bias also this particular dolphin is classified as endangered by the iucn that is international union for the conservation of nature and in the year 2007 the dolphins were discovered in punjab's harike wildlife sanctuary also it is the state aquatic animal of punjab since 2019 okay question number 11 Will Wadri cattle which was seen in the news was announced as genetically divergent in which state So the native Will Wadri cattle of Thrissur district of Kerala is genetically divergent from the rest of the cattle population in the state and the genetic diversity study was done by a group of scientists of CASA GB that is Center for Advanced Studies in Animal Genetics and Breeding and the Will Wadri cattle which are found in Palakkad Thrissur border are humped like other indigenous cattle of the state but they are bigger with longer horns also these indigenous breeds are disease resistant and they can withstand high temperatures as well okay question number 12 which state has documented the ordinate fauna for the very first time so a group of entomologists have documented the ordinate fauna in the state of Kerala for the very first time and Kerala is home to 181 species of dragonflies and damselflies also it nurtures 68 species that are endemic to the western ghat so according to the study the odonates of the western ghats stand at 207 of which 80 species are endemic okay question number 13 In the COP26 climate summit's first major deal, the leaders promised to end and reverse deforestation by which year? So in this deal, nearly 110 world leaders promised to end and reverse the deforestation by 2030. So this pledge is named as Glasgow Leaders Declaration on Forest and Land Use and it includes 12 billion dollars in public funds. and 7.2 billion dollars of private investment to tackle it okay 
also a previous deal in 2014 had failed to slow deforestation at all question number 14 what is the classification of ganga river dolphins as per iucn first of all these dolphins are the national aquatic animal of india and they are classified as endangered under iucn red list now why it is in news because recently union jal shakti ministry has released a guide that aims at safe rescue of stranded ganga river dolphins in india and the guide has been developed by turtle survival alliance and environment forest and climate change department of government of up fine question number 15 the pancham rita concoction is associated with what so this is a five fold strategy proposed by the prime minister of india at cop26 at glasgow and the strategy would help the world to achieve the sustainable development goals by the year 2030 so this panchamrita concoction includes 500 gigawatt non fossil energy capacity by the year 2030 then 50% renewable energy capacity by 2030 reduce carbon emission by 1 billion tons by 2030 and reduce the carbon intensity by 45% by the year 2030 and last is achieve net zero by 2030 okay so correct answer is option number a question number 16 as per a recent nasa study on climate change which crop is said to see a growth of 17% due to climate change so according to a new nasa study published in the journal nature food climate change may affect the production of maize and wheat by 2030 under a high greenhouse gas emission scenario so as per this study maize crop yields are projected to decline by 24% while wheat could potentially see a growth of about 17% so this is obviously due to increase in temperature shift in rainfall patterns and elevated surface carbon dioxide concentrations from the greenhouse gas emissions so correct answer is option number b question number 17 which indian state has set up first ever spv to manage three critical natural conservation missions so tamil nadu has set up its first ever special purpose vehicle named as tamil nadu green climate company to professionally manage three critical natural conservation missions and the company will manage Tamil Nadu climate change then Tamil Nadu green and Tamil Nadu wetlands mission so the authorized capital for spv is 5 crore and the state environment secretary will be the company's chairperson and md fine question number 18 peka peka tora is a long tailed bat belonging to which country So this is a long-tailed bat belonging to New Zealand and it has been awarded Bird of the Year 2021 awarded by the country's independent organization named as Forest and Bird. Actually this award is a sort of competition under which New Zealanders rank their favorite birds among the country's native species which creates awareness of their ecological plight. Okay? Question number nineteen: Inti tanager, which is a recently discovered species, is a what? So this newly discovered species belongs to the large family of Thropidae, which includes more than three hundred seventy songbird species. And these birds are restricted almost entirely to the American tropics. And this particular birds inhabits the Yungas bioregion of Bolivia and Peru. Also it is the second largest family of birds with about 4% of all birds and 12% of neotropical birds. Fine. Question number 20 What is the process by which coral reefs overheat during heat waves where they lose their color? So this process is called coral bleaching and it is a response by overheated corals during the heat waves where they lose their color and struggle to survive so as per a new study 
Eighty percent of the coral reefs have been bleached severely, at least once since two thousand sixteen. Also, it said that if global warming is held to one point five degrees, the earth can still have vibrant barrier reef. This is a homework question for you. You have to tell me the answer of this particular question in the comment section. And now coming to last question, is it Sanic? A dinosaur species which was recently modeled, which was found in which present-day region? So, an international team of researchers from Portugal, Denmark, and Germany have performed a micro CT scan of the previously excavated bones to create the digital 3D models. And the finds belong to a new species, which has been named as Isisanic, and this species lived about 214 million years ago in present day greenland so it was a kind of medium sized long necked herbivore and it is a predecessor of sauropods which are the largest land animal fine so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events regarding environment and biodiversity i know today it was a little boring lecture but trust me these questions are quite important for your exams and now we'll meet again very soon with our next category till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off